hope, and I don't know if you remember, I remember I asked you all to send your sunrise uh, collages in. I hope that you have done that. Rebecca, did anybody send any nice uh, sunrise collages? I hope so, and I'm sure I'll see them a little bit later on Twitter. Oh, fantastic. Rebecca has just confirmed, and she says that they are marvelous. So thank you for all doing that. I look forward to, uh, to having a look at them a little bit later, and it's also quite nice for everyone to see um, all the different types of sunrises, I suppose, that we've had over the years. Well, you know what we should have done? You know what would have been actually amazing is for uh, Wild Earth's 10-year birthday. It would have been cool to take uh, 10 sunrise pictures, but it would have been amazing if we could have got one, just taken your best one from the year. Now, I know that's almost impossible to do, but you're all pretty good at uh, putting your albums together with the dates, so I reckon it would have taken a bit of time, a bit of searching, but uh, there would have been a few of you, long-time viewers, that would have been able to put something together, but we can do that next year. We'll do 11 of them, our 11 fa favourite sunrise or sunset moments. I just love the long, dainty, dainty legs on the lapwings and the plovers, don't you? This one is very busy. They're just so elegant, the way that they move through the water. And so gentle too. If that was me, oh my goodness, I would have scared everything away. I would have been splashing through that water. I would have been a bit like an elephant or a buffalo going through a bit of water. But when you're a bird, you can't make too much, too many ripples. And I suppose if you've got tiny little feet like that, it doesn't break the surface too badly. Aren't they? They are stunning birds. Oh, the turtle doves are calling now. This is lovely. Oh, okay, I have a challenge for you. Rebecca, are you ready? Everybody ready? We need a screenshot of this bird as it goes down to peck against the water, catching little insects that are sitting on the surface. So we've basically got to, it must look like the bird is kissing itself, if that makes any sense. I know it's really silly, but I just think it could be quite nice. So the reflection and the bird as it goes down to catch an insect. Try and get a screenshot, hashtag Safari Live with it, and then Rebecca will tell us who the winner is, or who the first one to do it is. So go, go, go! <laughs> Get screen ca capturing away. I actually don't even know how you do a screen capture on a computer. That's how backwards I am when it comes to technology. So I also live out in the bush. So I don't have to deal with all these technical problems that are most of the time experienced in the cities. How cool is that? That is so lovely. Now this would be also a great trick image if you took it and you flipped it over. And you could say to people, obviously, when the water's still, which way is right way up? That could be another thing we could do. We we all know, of course, but if you've maybe got some family members, you could try and trick them or everybody on your Facebook page or Twitter account, something along those lines. I think that would be quite nice. Oh, well now we're just going to have a little bath as well. How's that? A little meal? Oh, love, this is so cool. You guys don't understand how wonderful this is. I've been waiting for such a long time to watch a bird have a bath live, and I was hoping it was going to be a Cape Glossy Starling, but I will take this blacksmith lapwing. You go, you put on such a good show. That was fantastic. You see that not too much water either because they're not like ducks. They don't have a gland that they can sort of um, preen oil all over their feathers to help waterproof them. They lack that. So if they want to dry themselves off, they've physically got to stand in the sun and let the wind and, of course, the heat generated from the sun do the trick. But just a little dip in the treehouse dam, and now I'm going to go through and clean myself. That was fantastic. That was really nice. And look how meticulous it is, taking each each feather, running its bill, making sure it realigns all the hooks on the feathers. Very important for flight, of course. And I've actually showed you that a couple of times where I've taken a feather and I've ruffled it up. Um, not one that I've pulled from a bird, of course. It was one that was found on the ground that was no longer needed. And when you run your fingers through it, it's very, very easy to align those hooks again, which is quite nice to see. Maybe we'll try and do it again. Ah. Oh. You are just the best blacksmith lapwing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you very much. That is also now officially my best blacksmith lapwing sighting, by the way. I'll have to jot it down in my diary and date it. Wonderful. They have lovely birds. Okie dokie. Well, that was a good show. Let's go see what else we can find.